How's it going everyone? Um, it's been about five months since my last video and this is ridiculous. I can't have five month periods where I don't upload anything. Um, so I'm bringing this video to you. I'm going to be installing macOS Mojave on my 2010 MacBook. If you're familiar with Macs, you'll know that um, the 2010 MacBook, the one that I have, is no, it's no longer supported, so I can't install macOS Mojave on it natively. There's a patch from DOS Dude that'll allow us to install Mojave on any unsupported Mac. So, on pretty much any Mac that's not supported, as long as it's Intel and 64-bit, um, it'll be supported by Mojave with this little patcher. So, let's go over to the MacBook and we'll start the patcher up and we'll get Mojave installed. Alright, so I'm on DOS Dude's website. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys uh, if you want to do this yourself. I have I need to download the tool right here, so I'm going to direct download and we'll save it. And once it's done, we can start the um, setup of the tool. And then we need to put Mojave onto a flash drive. Come on, focus or don't. Um, so we can plug this into the computer and install Mojave through there because I don't want to overwrite uh, High Sierra. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the patcher. Okay, so here's the patcher. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And this SSD is really slow for whatever reason. Oh, that's why. Because it has to verify. Alright, go ahead and open it. And here we go. So, first things first, put in the flash drive. And of course, I have to initialize it. And by the way, I'm really sorry if you hear any kind of fan noise coming from my MacBook. Um, it's got some heat issues to say the least. Erase it as macOS extended journaled and the GUID partition map. So hit erase. And hit done. And close that. And we do not. I don't believe I have a Mojave uh, DMG. I believe there's one on my Hackintosh, but the Hackintosh is kind of no longer right now. Alright, so what we have to do is go up here to Tools and hit Download macOS Mojave. And we'll hit Yes. And yep, Applications. And now it's downloading. So I'll come back when it's finished downloading and we'll continue from there. So the Mojave patcher didn't want to work, or at least this part of the patcher didn't want to work on my MacBook, so I fired up the Hackintosh and I already have Mojave downloaded on here, so we'll go ahead and find that right here. And, ah, okay. Uh, I need my flash drive. So, flash drive is in. Uh, I'm just going to make sure this sees my flash drive. Okay, I'm going to restart this. Because uh, that didn't look quite right. And now i got to find it again. Here it is. Oh, crap. Okay, so we finally got it open. Um, so we finally got it open. Um, not sure why there's two hacking sticks, which is my flash drive. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one, just to be safe. 
That was really weird. I don't, there's no other flash drives. These are all my volume, no, you can't see it, but, um, all my volumes are on the screen, and none of, I don't have duplicates, so, anyway. Uh, choose that, and hit start operation, and hit yes, and password now should be working, yeah. So it's restoring the image, and it should be done, I'm going to guess, about six or seven minutes. So I'll come back when it's done. All right, so the patch are finished on the Hackintosh, and now I have my stick right here. So what we need to do now is go ahead and shut down. Oh, I should have hit restart. Oh, well. That would have been easier. Okay, so now we're going to hit the power button and hold down Option. And here we go. Um, oh, this is interesting. I have had um, Mojave, Mo Mojave on here before, so it does have the recovery partition, so that's strange. I'm hoping that'll go away when we install it now. So we're going to go to us in base system, hit enter, and now it's booting from the flash drive. And once it's done, we'll continue from there. Alright, so several hours later, I'm back. Wow, this was a pain in the butt to get working. Um, normally, or it should have just worked the first time I did it, but for whatever reason, on no matter what computer I did, or tried to make the USB on it, it wouldn't work. Finally got it to work, though. Um, so, now what we need to do... If I can remember, I... I believe you go into post and uh, no, I think you go through the normal setup process first. Um, then you go to uh, hold on a minute. I need disk utility first, so I can make a new partition in the hard drive. Show all devices, and we'll click partition. Just make a new partition. We'll only make it 20 gigabytes because that's all we really need. Nope, not 10, 20. And we'll call it Mojave. Apply partition. All right, so Mojave, or yep, partition it with Mojave. So now we'll go ahead and finish the setup. Continue, continue, agree. Um, we'll have it. I'm gonna customize. No, no never mind. I'm not gonna customize. Um, continue, and now it's installing. And it says about 13 minutes, and I'll come back when we need to do the post install after it's finished installing, so that we can patch it for it to work on this computer. All right, so it's just now finished, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit restart. down option okay because that will happen okay so now we've got to hold down option and then we'll boot back into our flash drive Okay, now that we're in the installer again, we can go over to post install. And we're going to select our model so it detected MacBook 7, 1, because that's this model. And we're going to leave everything like that, and we're going to select Mojave and hit patch. And now we can hit reboot. Alright, so I just came back from dinner and I got the MacBook all set up, ready to go, and the camera's not in focus, but that's fine. So I'm going to take out the flash drive. Sorry about the phone. Um, hit the power button. And we 
we should be booting into Mojave right now. All right, and here's the setup screen. So I'm gonna hit the United States as my country because that's where I am. U.S. keyboard, yep. And my Wi-Fi. All right, data and privacy. <clears throat> um, whatever that was, don't transfer any information. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and then I'll be right back. All right, so now we have to agree to the terms and conditions. So agree, and here's this stuff, password, alright, so this is this, I'm going to customize. Enable location services on this Mac. Uh, I'm not going to share that with Apple. Continue. And yep, we'll enable Siri. Nope. Continue. And I like the dark theme. And it also, there's some graphics problems with the older or the unsupported Macs. I think because they don't support metal or something like that, um, where the light theme just looks ridiculous on here. So always go with the dark theme. And here we go, setting up your Mac. Alright, here we are. In Mac OS Mojave on an unsupported Mac. Um, so, I do have some patch updates, so I'm going to go ahead and install these. Um, something about your account needs to be configured, I'll do that later. And I'm just going to go and change my wallpaper to the, 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 the dynamic one because it looks cool yeah that that didn't do anything oh here we go dynamic so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I'm really sorry for the lack of uploads um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.